Right, so a very quick tutorial. Um, oh, there's a fly. There is a fucking fly on it. Oh, I hate flies. Okay. Um, yeah, very quick tutorial. I didn't film the process because uh, I'm too busy, but here we go. So it is a base of uh, Dumbel Brown through an airbrush. Look at that fucking fly. Dimble brown through an airbrush, uh, or you could also use a Vallejo color, or I think it's called Dark Rust from memory. Um, but that one is Dimble brown. Uh, and then chipping fluid, I use the MIG chipping fluid uh, scratches, it's called. MIG scratches chipping fluid uh, through an airbrush, obviously. Let that sit for 40 minutes, then... Um, then applied Abaddon Black air paint at the bottoms. So darker at the bottom, warmer at the top. And then I have, what I've done is I've mixed um, Fenrisian gray, a tiny bit of Fenrisian gray air with rust gray air. Um, and then I've applied that zenithal, like a zenithal sort of highlight from the top. And it's, it's sort of got, you can see it's sort of gone down the, the hull a little bit there. Um, once that has been dried, um, it was, it's very blue at the top. It's very, very blue at the top. Uh, and then what I've done is I've gone and I've put the um, Black Templar contrast paint through the airbrush and then sprayed it on, which is the way that it's worked is that at the edges of the panels, it's lighter. So where the paint is thinner, it's bluer at the edges. It's, it creates that, that highlight that's like a a free edge highlight now the reason i've i've kept it like that is because in real life paint is thinnest at the corners that's where it's going to weather first so what i've done is after that has dried i have then gone in with a toothpick and a little um a shitty brush i think that's its technical name and that is as shitty as a brush can get i think feasibly that's that they don't get much shittier than that um and then a bit of water a bit of water in a cup and then you just go la 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 um and then hit it with a toothpick after it's the water sat there for a bit that means that you get these little areas where that is the chipping that you get and that has taken no time at all that is super quick uh because the contrast leaves that hot, nice highlight, when you go in with your very crappy brush and go like that, it takes a little bit more of it off and then a little bit more to reveal the red underneath. So the next step now is I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, I will put maybe some freehand on there, maybe a couple of transfers, weather those in a little bit, and then it's a coat of varnish. And the varnish I use is the MIG ultra matte varnish for the airbrush ultra matte is the best um yeah apologies for a long time between videos but i have been absolutely flat stick with work um yeah i had a one day off in november and i have got maybe one or two days off in december although the coronavirus is back in sydney so i think we're going to go into lockdown again soon so i should get some more time to paint um yeah all right everyone stay safe fucking yeah get into it right up